specific things on the court that you saw being off that uh, that you didn't see while you were a player? Um, yeah, especially as far as ball screens is, is reading and seeing ball screens was huge for me because I was able to, you know, you see them on film, but you see them, uh, in, you know, real life and interactions, especially with DJ going off ball screens. I was able to see a lot of stuff and slowing down and a lot of things that's going to help you as far as ball screens. It's not about the people that you're in. It's the guys around you knowing what guys are going to be, knowing the rotations that the defense are going to make. And I, we spent, Coach and I spent uh, tons of hours just going over that as far as just recognizing some of the things that they see as far as DJ is going to help make DJ a better player. That's going to help me better play in the future as well. DJ coach said you went 30 games without shooting from inside the paint. How is that? What, what was that like? Did that take time you were used to? And how do you feel that helped you? No, I actually uh, went 30 days just shooting inside the paint. Oh, inside no the outside paint. shots. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was, it was, uh, at first it was frustrating because we would play pickup and stuff and like uh, I couldn't shoot no jump shots. But um, in the long run, it helped me out. You know, my shot felt a lot better. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm shooting a high percentage right now, so I think it was good for me overall. Why did it feel better? How did it help? Um, we just broke down my mechanics. Um, me uh, firing through my guy hand, keeping my eyes on the rim, uh, staying balanced when I'm shooting. You know, when you're just sitting under the rim, just doing set shots, it just it, it became like repetition for me. And doing it over and over again, uh, now it's like incorporating to my regular shot. And then you just, after those 30 days, you just slowly move out? Yeah. Or do you just go right to the free point line? No, nah, I uh, slowly work my way out. Wait, what time of year was that? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it was a summer session, the first summer session. It's like May, May, June? Yeah. Ross, this is kind of your first time up here with these guys. It's kind of one of the guys that people are paying real attention to on this team. How does it feel to kind of be familiar when you're going to be thrust in the spotlight? Um, it feels great, you know. Um, I've tried to step up my my leadership and practice, and uh, you know, coaches finally put the trust in me to be up here with these two guys, um, you know. And I've learned a lot from these two guys over the past two years with their leadership, so um, it feels great. Tim, coach says uh, that you guys are going to be allowed to do some more running this year. Are you looking forward to that? Oh, definitely. You know, you know, I'm not a big st a stocky guy, so and the speed is one of my, you know, my best assets. So anytime I'm able to use that, it, it's gonna make me feel that much better. And I think it's, I think it helps us a lot as a team as well. You know, we're fast guys. A lot of guys on us, especially those young freshmen. Everybody gets up and down the court. So I think that's gonna benefit a lot, benefit us a lot to be able to get up and down the court when times are needed. When did you hear about the first hear about the anti hand checking initiative? And from uh -oh. whom and what was your reaction? Um, it was from coach. You know, coach mentioned it to me. He said, we, you know, they're going to start calling it tight. You know, it's, it's, you know, I said it's a good and bad for me. You know, a lot of times I get to, and I feel like I can get to the foul line much more now. But at the same time, and, you know, I'm an eager guy and I like to go for steals. So that definitely can, it makes me be disciplined not to, you know, reach and not to put my hand, hand on guys and not kind of force them certain, certain ways. So it's like good and bad, but I, I think it's going to help the, you know, the NCAA a lot. Why? I think that it's going to benefit for guys and it's going into the next level because that's how they call it in, in the next level as far as just hand checks. And, and it's going to save, like uh, like I said, it's going to call out, make you play solid defense, which is going to benefit you and your team because in a lot of guys it, it'll be less, you know, blow bys in the game because it'll, people will focus on trying to guard their man without fouling. And, and, and it'll just basically just make the guards really pay attention to keeping their hands off. How about for fans? I mean, that's why they're really yeah. doing this. I think, it, I think it'll be good for fans as well. You know, I think it'll keep the game moving a lot. Cause, you know, it, but at the same time, if it comes to certain situations where fouls are going to be called a lot, yeah. then it, you know, it can't slow down the game. I think it's just going to be a testament of what team you play and, and you know, what their coaching, coaching style is and how they're going to go about certain situations. But I know we teach it right now. We've been working on drills. If we do defensive slides, holding towels to keep our hands up, you know, away from guys so we don't stick our hands in when people get by us so or make it get a good step. So we use that already preparing for us to not limit our fouls because we don't want to foul. How much hand checking have people done against you in the past? Being a quicker guy, I'm sure you probably got it as much as anybody. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, every night, you know, but I think that was, but I do it as well, you know, being that quicker guy, you know, I was able to, you know, get a couple hand checks here and there, but I think it's going to, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's going to help and hurt, you know, at the same time, but I'm looking forward to it, you know, a lot of guys, I'm expecting to get a lot of calls from some other guys and, you know, as far as the referees, when I go on the road, maybe get a little bit more hand checks here and there, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, last year when you were going through some of the ups and downs of running the point, you said that it would help you long term. Now that you're back in a more natural two position, where do you see uh, that process paying, paying out from playing the one last year? 
Um, now it's just kind of like having two uh, floor generals on the court now with me and Tim. Um, you know, it helped me just being a better leader. <clears throat> I've been able to see every guy's rotation. Uh, I think it helps our offense, you know, uh, talking more. I became more vocal uh, last year. And um, I think overall, just, it just helped me as, for my growth, you know, handling the ball, uh, working on, you know, individual moves and uh, being, being a great leader. Tim, are you, are you working more off the ball because DJ has the uh, experience of the one, or are you primarily back of the one right now? Um, myself, I'm, I'm kind of just whatever. We switch it up a lot, you know, and I think it's not even just for DJ. Just give those freshman guys, guys a chance. I know we've we've seen Graham at the point one time with Graham, myself, and DJ, and at the same time, and he when Graham runs the point, we're both both off the ball. It's all just a limited of time of what the day is and what we need as a team. And you know, I'm willing to do whatever if Coach needed me to. You know, post up, and I know any of these guys would do it. Be five man for for a couple series if we needed. And how are you guys balancing out both being <clears throat> ball handlers and scores at the same time, kind of getting each other your own points while you're taking care of yourself? I think I just like the question before about us being able to run. You know, if we get rebounds, whoever's closest to the ball gets it, and the next guy just takes off. And you know, we try to get up the floor as fast as possible. And when it comes down to sets, it's just basically just whatever the play is, and you know that certain plays are set for certain, you know, for certain guys, and we switch off. But you know, it's basically whoever may, whoever's closest to the ball, as well as Ross. Ross has been working on bringing the ball up the court as well. So whoever's closest to the ball, we try to get up the court as fast as possible. Coach said the offense is as sharp as he's seen it since he's been here. How have you guys seen that, and how much do you think that's due to the European trip and the practices that you got with that? Um, I think it definitely has to do with the European trip, you know, just having, especially we have also, just to throw that out, we have a great great group of freshmen that I'm very proud of. And, you know, they've come a long ways, and I think that's benefited us the most because they come in eager, ready to listen as much as possible. And I just be, be able to practice those 10 days for Europe was great for us. And now you bring that in, now this new rule of being able to practice earlier. We've been running through plays with far along as far as plays goes and concepts and schemes than we were. That we, Right now, if you think about last year, we just would have started practice maybe last week. So we're far ahead of a lot of uh, a lot of the things that we were yesterday as far as the concepts go. Ross, you were more or less a double double towards the end of the year, give or take a rebound here. How much of that can you bring into starting off this year strong with how you performed at the end of the last season? Um, yeah, um, I definitely stepped it up a lot at the end of last year, and um, I'm looking to bring that bring that to the beginning of this year and throughout the throughout the year. Um, you know. Uh, you mentioned the double double. That's definitely a goal of mine. Um, just try to average. Just try to you know, try to help the team out in that aspect as much as possible. Who can help you out? I mean, we know what you can do as a physical player. Uh, the rest are question marks. Is there anyone who can help you out on the board as a special? Yeah, all these guys. Um, you know, coach has a philosophy of just just taking your man and going and, and getting the ball and not running into paint. Uh, I think all these guys on the team are capable of rebounding. So um, you know, I think. I think um, you know a lot of talk has been uh, we're not going to be that great of a rebounding team, but I have confidence that um, our team our team will get that that done. Yeah, this kind of a question for you. You guys all kind of out rebound your height and out rebound for your positions. Um, this is something you take pride in as a team. Coach Chambers mentioned earlier you don't really have a traditional five man on this on this team. Is that something you take pride in? I think, yeah, I think so a lot. You know, we spent countless hours and working on rebound, and like you said, staying out of a hole and tag. And we spent we spent time and through practice almost every day to focus on that. And I think that's what makes that's what made Gross such a great rebounder because he he bought into that and he was able to. And a lot of things, it's not just him; it's just other guys boxing out for him to be able to sky and soar. So I think we really focused on making sure we gain rebound as an as it is a group as all five guys on the floor either do something get their man out of the pain, get their man out of the way so guys can fly like Ross can go get rebounds and teach it. Did those uh, European teams, did they remind you of, uh, of playing teams in the Big Ten playing the same kind of style ball? Um, I think certain of them. I think you can even say a lot. One of the teams, I'm not sure the name, they reminded me of Michigan, Michigan because uh, they had the guard that can just get in the paint and they had one big man that just rebounded and everybody else was just shooters non-stop shooting threes and and, every, and they love the corner shot you know that reminded me of, of Stauskas I don't know if any guys remind you of Stauskas just knocking down threes left and right you know so I know I know that team reminded me of that I'm pretty sure they got other other teams that maybe remind them um I guess just uh some of the team were physical you know the big team is physical um uh, I'm not sure the name of the second team we played but they, they were mm -hmm. pretty physical now they had some good big guys um I think, you know, the Big Ten always had big guys, always known for having good, great big guys. And uh, like Tim said, they got some great guards over there. 
So yeah, the, uh, some of the teams that remind me of the Big Ten. Anything else for these guys? All right. We're going to head to the practice gym. <coughs> Thank you.